Welcome back to Sister Circle Live. Our next guest is a singer and multi-platinum songwriter who is delivering hit after hit for artists like Usher, Justin Bieber, Selena Gomez, Fantasia, oh, and wow. so many others. Here to tell us all about his newest album, The Rebirth 2, which features a lead singer with Chris Brown. Please welcome the multi-talented Eric Bellinger. Yay! Yay! And early. Oh, oh yeah. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. How you doing? Yeah. To Welcome here. to the show. Oh my goodness! Absolutely, absolutely. Now. I'm a big sports fan. Rashawn is a big sports fan. Yeah. She's football. Yeah. Mm -hmm. okay. mm -hmm. And speaking of football, okay, football was your first love. Yeah, first love. And then you said, "Hey, no" to football, mm -hmm. and said, "I want to be a musician." So. Yeah. My God, mm -hmm. that was big. You were like yeah. about to be drafted, right? Yeah, so, um, man, it's interesting because I got hurt actually um, in the 605 All Star game, which is a, you know, a popular game over on the West Coast. Yeah, yeah. And that part doesn't necessarily look as attractive on the bio. Right. So we kind of left that part out, you know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> it kind of decided it for me. You know, I had the, uh, you know, decision to do the rehab thing, and then mm -hmm. I got an opportunity to do an audition for a music group. and. I've been singing ever since. Yes. <laughs> well, yeah. thank God you have. Yeah, yeah. Absolutely, no. absolutely. Okay, so uh, your grandfather, mm -hmm. Bobby Day, was a musician with the Jackson 5, and yes. he wrote hit records like yeah. uh, Rockin' Robin and Little Bitty Pretty One. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Like, you had it deep in, yeah. yes, yeah. Rockin' Robin, yeah, yeah. 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 all that. <laughs> so, so you had it from deep down in your core. Music was always there. That He obviously served as an inspiration for you. Yeah, definitely. And that just, you know, showed me and proved to me that if my grandpa did it, you know how sometimes it's real far-fetched and it's like, I don't think that's possible or I yeah, can't yeah. do that. I knew I had it in my blood. I knew it was something that I couldn't, you know, contain myself from doing. I was singing in church and even when I was at football practice, I was making up the, <laughs> you know, the different right. things. Putting a know, remix so, on it. Yeah, putting a remix on it. So I think it's something, you know, that was so natural to me. That's why my first mixtape mm -hmm. series was just born to sing. Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah, yeah. Doing what I'm supposed Good to be stuff. doing. Good now you stuff. tour with Ashanti which yeah. was probably like one zillion shows. <laughs> yeah. uh, she was lit, lit. Yes. Okay. Yeah, that was, yeah, that was. But then you transitioned into being a solo artist mm -hmm. and writing for all of these mm -hmm. amazing, amazing artists. Now, in the industry, not everybody can write. Yes. Mm -hmm. So how did you know that not only could you write, but you don't write just regular songs. You write right, hit you. records. Thank you. Sorry. So how did you? No, that's real. Right, right, right. That so <laughs> no, that's what I'm saying. Because <laughs> she knows this week. Right. 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 So <laughs> how did you? How are you able to know and determine between a hit record and mm -hmm. whether it's not going to be that as yeah. a vocalist, yeah. as a oh, as, a, as an artist? I think you know being behind the scenes and actually knowing you know what to suggest for the artist yeah. and the right song for the right artist is mm -hmm. super important yeah. you know you might have this song which is an absolute hit record right. yeah. but if you play this song for Selena Gomez or if you play this song for just you know it might be completely different so i think it's actually nailing the right song for the right artist yeah. in the climate that we at too with yeah. the culture right. it's more than just writing a good song you right. have to write the perfect song the right song that they'll feel connected to before they even heard it yeah mm -hmm. and then along your path you met Chris Brown yeah. And how did that relationship form? So the uh, first session that I had with Chris Brown, it was it was interesting because I had flu. Yeah, every, yeah, that's my word because it's like, man, the way things actually, you know, come. I heard you with the manifestations. Yeah, you never know. You see, yeah. you put, Eric you know, me. Eric I'm, oh, I'm tired, tired, tired. <laughs> right, right, so right. So I actually flew to London, landed, and I had so many missed calls, so many text messages wow. like, yo, we need you to come back to LA. Like I just landed right, right now. Right. Next night I was on a flight going right back, landed, wrote Oh My Love, wrote mm -hmm. Say It With Me. Mm -hmm. You know, these songs that was on the Fame album, which, you know, went on to win a yeah, Grammy. Yeah, that did. Yeah, and that then was from great... then on it was just like Yeah. It was it, it worked. Yes, yeah. yeah. Okay, so Eric, back to this writing, I'm telling you, because you you got a new single out called, called Type of Way. Yeah. But here's the thing with, with this. Wow, here's a question I want to ask you because you write here records. Mm -hmm. So when the artist is evolving, yeah. you know, and, and someone might know them for that, or even you, like they might say, well, Eric does this. Yeah. How do you evolve and still keep your fans? Mm -hmm. How do you write for an artist like that? Yeah, I think knowing what's to come and not writing what they've heard. I mm. think something that's actually beneficial to women's ears. Mm -hmm. Think about the women first. What do they want to hear? You mm -hmm. know, and actually just really being tapped in. You really need to be tuned in with what 
people will love before they hear it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You need yeah. to know. You need to stick to the word catchy. Yeah. That catchy word is something that's going to do promotion for you when you're not even listening to music. Mm -hmm. You can't get it out your head. It's mm -hmm. ongoing marketing because it's so good. Yes, right. yes, mm -hmm. yes. Let's talk about your new album, Rebirth 2. 32 tracks. What's 32. up with 32? Snap. 32, that's, that's, that's the magic. Yeah. You know, Magic Johnson. I'm from L.A. Oh. Tell us about <laughs> you know, and, uh, you know, the Rebirth 1, that was the exact formula. I didn't want to change nothing. That was the project that I feel, you know, just skyrocketed me and, you know, was, you know, enabling me to start start my fan base and my world, as I like to call it. Yes. And, you know, I just wanted to just follow the same format. So you had the double disc, 16 songs on each disc. And uh, man, I think my fans are, you know, proud of it. And yeah. I like to make sure that they got what they need to yeah. be my street soldiers in the world to let people know what we're doing over yeah. here. Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. well, well, music is all in your family. Your yes. wife, Lamaya, was in a group. Yeah. And, and you guys are, how did you guys even meet? Why? Man, so the group, Isis that she uh -huh. was in, uh -huh. um, we actually had the same manager at the time. I was in a group called A New, okay. and I was a young buck at the time. Yes, mm -hmm. you know, saw what you like. You gotta, yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So you know what I mean? I was like, all right, let me put my bed in, get my weight up, yeah. get my funds up, <laughs> yes. get my charm up, right. make sure I'm manicured at all times. Yes, you so know, LA, and, you are so yeah, LA. you know, make sure everything right, is right. right. And uh, <laughs> you know, when it was time. It was time. Yeah. You know, you get the inevitable. You know, yes. at first I was, you know, doing my thing. She was doing her thing. And we were able to watch each other. Oh, LA. Mm -hmm. right. Real LA. Right. She LA, I'm LA. We look at it like, man, we the king to clean around. Right. Yes. You know oh. now, now you got a princess. Yeah. Now yeah, we, got got a, a, we got a prince. Oh, a, a prince. prince. And one on the way. We trying to see what way. that is. Oh, you don't know what it is. Oh, then maybe I just spoke to this Ooh, the, Manifestation. You yeah. be having a girl. Oh, you're not ready for that. I don't know. Sins of the player. Sins of the player. You're going to have a good time. Well, Eric, thank you so you much. We're, uh, we're just happy. Love thank your energy. You. Love that L.A. swag. Ain't nothing like it. Ain't Continue like success it. on thank everything you. that Appreciate you do. Yes, Thanks yes. for having me. Please make sure you check out his new album, The Rebirth 2. It's available now at ericbellinger.com and on all digital platforms.